Hey everybody, it's Charlene. Today I'm going to share with you how I made this beautiful birdhouse style card using some products from Honeybee Stamps. So I'm going to start out here with the Lovely Layers Seasonal Frames. Now this is a really fun die set because you can do all kinds of different things with it. You'll see you've got a window, but then you've also got lots of different seasonal items so you can make that window scene for all the different seasons it's very versatile i'm cutting out several different dies using different colors of cardstock so i used a darker green for the leaves a lighter green for another set of leaves and then you can see i did the floral pieces i did three of those in pink the different pieces of the layering bird, which is a really cool part of this set, I did in different shades of blue. And then for my centers of my florals, I'm doing two different shades of yellow here. So I've got three of each of those. Off camera, I'm gonna use my larger die cutting machine to cut out two of the dark green vine pieces. And then I did change my mind about my bird. I decided to make parts of him white instead of blue. And I have a Copic marker here, it's E37, and I'm using that to color the feet a nice brown. And then you can see I'm just gonna cut off the poor little bird's head here because I do want the head to be blue. So as I layer these up, you're gonna see the brown feet, then a white belly, blue wings, and a blue head. And it just makes a really nice look, I think, for my little blue bird that I'm gonna have here on my card. So I'm just using my reverse tweezers. I find them really helpful to layer things up like this, putting some glue on the back of each layer and then gluing it to the next largest layer. So this is the final layer here and that's gonna give me my entire bird and it's gonna have all that dimension because of those layers. For the large vine piece, I did cut out two, like I said, and I'm actually gonna layer those up. This is obviously optional, but I feel like this piece in particular, if you layer it twice, it gives that vine so much dimension and it just looks really cool on the front of your card. So I just put glue all the way along and then I very carefully laid the second piece over, pinched it all together. I am gonna add some dark pink ink here to the centers of my florals before I put them together. So that way we'll have a little bit of a darker center peeking out. And then I just went ahead and glued the darker of the yellow pieces, the larger one, directly to the floral. Now you could double layer the floral pieces and offset them if you wanted kind of an even more substantial floral. So it's a really nice set. There's other florals in the set as well, which is nice. I am coming in here again with a Copic marker. This is YR07, and I'm just dotting where there's embossed spots on those florals. Now I had intended just to use the seasonal frames, but then I had an idea to use the front porch lovely layers. This is an awesome set. You can build what looks like a front porch, but what I decided to do is to use it to create my own birdhouse. I've cut out two pieces in dark brown cardstock, and then I'm going to cut out in a craft color, I'm gonna cut out some of the accent wood pieces. Now here I have a piece of white cardstock. I'm only going to cut out the top part of this, and that's because I want to get that nice little bit of white wood detail that's gonna go behind the other brown pieces I've created. So I'm just gonna cut that right out so I have it there. Now I have an A2 size card base, so it's four and a quarter by five and a half inches, and I'm gonna make this into a shaped card. So I'm gonna take this here and I'm gonna tape a circle die where it lines up in the center between those two wood posts. And then I'm gonna open the card up and cut that circle out. That's gonna be the little entry to our birdhouse. And then once I have that done, I can pretty easily cut all of the excess away so that way that 
this can be a shaped card. So hopefully this makes sense as you're watching. I'm gonna put that wood piece back on there and just make sure it's lined up all the way on the far left-hand side of the card base. And then I'm gonna use my pencil just to create a line there. And then off camera, I used my paper trimmer to cut that down. And now I'm gonna come back in with the piece and I'm gonna use my pencil along the roof line so that way I know where to cut with my paper trimmer along the right hand and left hand side at the top so that way you don't see anything back behind there. Now you could just build up this beautiful birdhouse and put it on the front of an A2 sized card and you don't have to do any of this extra work here but I thought it'd be kind of fun to have it be a shaped card. So there I've got those two top pieces cut off and now you can see you won't see anything back behind there. I can start by gluing everything together. I'm going to come in here with that white piece that where we cut out just the top portion and I'm going to glue it to the back of the large brown piece and then I can glue this whole piece to the front of the card. I'm not too concerned if there's going to be any glue showing because it's going to dry and it'll be clear so it won't be an issue if there's any peeking out here or there on the back of this brown piece. So I'm going to line that up so it fits right along the bottom there. And then I can go in and start adding the other layers to the front of the house. So I have the other dark brown piece here and I'm going to layer that up right over the first dark brown piece. And you can see this adds more wood grain detail and it creates dimension. So you could do as many layers of these pieces as you wanted or you could pop them up with foam tape if you wanted it to have even more dimension. I wanted it to have some dimension, but I also wanted this to be easily mailed. So I didn't use any foam tape on this card. I know it's shocking. I use it on most cards, but I'm gluing on the little remaining wood detail pieces here, just using my reverse tweezers to make it a little bit easier on myself. And then I can start doing the fun decorating with all of the beautiful floral and greenery pieces. So I did cut out two of these little sticks bundles that die is also from the seasonal frames die set and now I'm going to come in and add some nice ink detail to all of these pieces so I took those florals that I created and I'm just going around the edge with that same darker pink color and now for the leaves I'm going to come all the way around the edge with a nice green color that's just going to add some depth and shading to the leaves so that they pop off the card and look really nice I'm using some detail blending brushes here which make it easy to get right along the edges and they're also angled at the top so you can add extra little bits by just using the edge of the brush and you'll see me do that in some areas. I have the other set of leaves here again same thing going around with a very similar shade of green ink and for these I'm not being very exact I'm just kind of going in and rubbing my brush here and there all over I'm not really worried about where it hits other than making sure it goes all the way around and so I've done the same for the vine piece there and for my stick bundles I'm just going to go ahead and add some shading right to the center there because I'm going to have these in the center underneath the window of my birdhouse and have my little bird sitting on there so having that extra shading there is going to look really nice. I did decide to go around my bird with some blue ink. In hindsight, I wish I had been a little bit more careful while I was inking because his little feet ended up kind of looking a little green but it's okay. For my sentiment, I'm using a stamp from the Welcome Home Sentiment Stamps, and there's also coordinating dies. I'm not gonna be using those. I'm just using that really cute scripty hello here, and I'm gonna stamp it inside the card so you can see it through the window. I just took care to make sure I left enough room for my bird so that it wouldn't cover the sentiment. And now I can glue everything to the front of my card. I'm gonna start out with the large vine piece, and you can 
see now how it's kind of trailing over the top of what's now our birdhouse. I love how this looks. And once I have that, I'm going to put my little stick bundles down below there underneath the opening that we have. And I did turn one 180 degrees so that way it looks like they are two different bundles. And then I'm gluing my little bird and I'm moving on to my florals. I placed everything where I liked it so that I could go ahead and glue everything together here. So I picked up the leaf piece and then just pressed it all together. And then I could add some more glue to the back and press it down so that it picks up the other leaf piece. And I just continue on gluing from front to back. This makes it so I don't have to kind of remember where I had placed everything because it's pretty easy to go back in. I know you guys have seen me do this before and lately it's definitely been been my preferred way of building up scenes. So now I've added on the second little leaf piece there and now I can glue the whole piece down to the birdhouse. Now this might be a good spot to add some foam tape right here just to give it a little bit of dimension up off of the birdhouse but like I said I think it still works really well without any foam tape behind it. You guys will have to let me know down in the comments what you think. If you think this was a good amount of dimension or if you prefer your cards to have more dimension I'm always curious to know what people think. So I went ahead and did my left floral down there at the bottom and then this one I'm moving it up a little bit on the right hand side because I do want it to sort of create a triangle with the three different florals. I went a little bit wild with my white gel pen. I went and I lined a lot of the different places where the wood grain was embossed to those die cuts. And then down at the bottom of those two wood columns, I just kind of added my own little bit of detail because there's not any embossing there. But I think it looks nice with all of the added white gel pen. I feel like it just gives it some highlights and some pops. You can see I also added some gem pieces there to finish off the card. I'm really happy with how this turned out. I hope you all picked up some tips and tricks today. Please be sure to like and subscribe as well as hit that notification bell so that I can continue bringing you more crafty content in the future. Until next time, happy crafting.